Well, this is one of the mass graves that's been found in the last couple of weeks or so, but we found at least another two or three today. What happens is, is that uh, once they're identified, the authorities are brought in and they do the actual excavation, so it's the families who come looking in the hills. It is a huge area uh, that it's covering. It was first became apparent to the people in town that there were murders had taken place because animals, dogs, started appearing with body parts. Uh, after that, as they began to talk to uh, locals, those people told them that on a number of evenings, cars and trucks would come up into these hills. Then the police would come and close the road behind them. Nobody was able to come up and see what was going on. It was quite a kerfuffle. They could hear screaming, we're told. And then the police and the trucks disappeared. What they believe has happened here is a well-organised attempt to cover up huge crimes, to send a message to the local population that the drug gangs are in charge. And to a certain degree, the authorities are involved as well. And that is why the local population is so angry. They still don't know what bodies, whose bodies have been found in these graves. The 43 students that have been missing for the past two months, it is possible, could be in these mass graves that have been found, as I say, over the last couple of weeks or so.